Why Fernando Alonso is the smartest F1 driver Fernando Alonso is currently the oldest driver on the grid, and you don't get to drive at 41 years of age if you don't have something special in you. Nando, as everyone likes to call him on the grid, made his debut in 2001 for Minardi, and he joined Renault as a test driver for the 2002 season. A couple of years later, we have a two-time world champion with Renault, as Alonso won in 2005 and 2006 ahead of Raikkonen and Schumacher. But what he did in the latest GP was really amazing to watch, and it just proves that Alonso is one of a kind driver. Also, it's worth mentioning that Alonso has had his share of bad luck throughout his tenure in Ferrari. He joined the team in 2010, and in his first year he was just four points behind Vettel in the championship fight. In 2012, a similar thing happened, as Alonso missed out on the title to Vettel by just three points. Then he decided to join McLaren again, after he had disagreements with Ferrari's team principal Marco Mattiacci in 2014. So, Fernando drove for McLaren from 2015 to 2019. After a two-year break, he returned to Alpine in 2021, and this year he has been quite impressive with the team, but he seems to have a lot of bad luck revolving around him lately. That was the case in Austria, where although bad luck followed him yet again, he managed to outsmart everyone and cover a problem that would have gotten him penalized if it got noticed by the stewards or other F1 team bosses. The race in Austria started nicely in the qualifying sessions, as Alonso picked up the P8 starting spot for the sprint race. However, he had problems with starting his car due to an electronics issue on Saturday for the sprint race, so he had to pit and start dead last on Sunday. But prior to him even starting the sprint race, he did his first move that was astonishing for the F1 fans. Alonso was supposed to start at P8, which is a position that is on the dirty side of the track in Austria. The racing line at this GP is located left, meaning that the cars are following that line, and they are cleaning the track subsequently from any dust and marbles and anything that could possibly be located on this side of the track. The right side of the track is the dirty one, and it's usually full of dust and marbles because nobody drives their car there, and it cannot be cleaned by itself. At FP2, Alonso drove over the dirty side of the track so that it could be as clean as possible. He did this so that he would gain an advantage over the start in the sprint race, something that wasn't done by any other driver who started at the dirty side of the track. These small maneuvers just show how experienced Nando is and how much he appreciates a good start with as many obstacles as possible. This, however, isn't the sole purpose of his driving outside of the track. His teammate, Ocon, started P5 on Saturday on the outside of the track. Magnussen in the Haas started P6 on the inside, dirty part of the track. Ideally, Magnussen would want to leave some rubber on the asphalt so he could get better traction when he starts on the dirty side of the track. However, Alonso parked at P6 in FP2 and cleaned all of the rubber with his car, therefore not allowing Magnussen to take this little advantage of his own. He did this at the end of FP2, so that Magnussen won't be able to do it again prior to the start of the sprint race. What a cheeky little fox Alonso is, huh? However, it's Alpine, and this team has somehow managed to mess up every Alonso's race so far. In Montreal, he qualified P2, and after falling down behind Sainz in P3, he managed to make some advantage to Hamilton behind him. But an engine issue, more specifically an air leak in the engine and a missed tactic with the pit stop, made Nando fall down to P7 and then get demoted to P9 for waving at Bottas at the main straight. Here, he couldn't start his engine and wasn't able to start the sprint race at all. But we've seen in Barcelona what he can do when he starts from the last place, and the same was kind of expected to happen here in Austria. After his P20 start, Alonso managed to climb up to the points section and was said to have a great comeback race. After the VSC was deployed, Alonso pitted for new tires, but his front left tire wasn't bolted properly and was loose. If this was noted by other teams, they would have reported to the FIA and Alonso would be penalized for this mistake. However, he noted that the tire wasn't bolted properly and called his team to pit him again. Also, he avoided saying anything on the radio about the tire not being mounted properly, as he said, box again when his engineer asks why. 
Then, in the pit lane, Alonso gave a hint that it was about the front left tire, and although he received fresh new tires, he still lost a couple of positions. Unfortunately for him and for the team, the FIA saw this incident, but it was something really cheeky and experienced move from Alonso. As we mentioned earlier, you don't get to drive at 41 years of age if you don't have a couple of tricks up your sleeve. As of now, it's safe to say that Alonso is one of the smartest drivers on the grid, and the Austrian GP was just the right indicator in that direction. The fans had a proper laugh when he gave Tsunoda the waddling finger when the young Japanese driver tried to close the door on him, and while Alonso passed him with speeds higher than 250 km per hour, he waddled the finger towards him in disapproval of his move. That's something that only Nando could do, and that is exactly why the sport needs him. Of course, his team needs to do a better job when it comes to their engine, as Alpine is currently trying to fight for the P4 spot on the table, as they are very close in this fight with McLaren. What do you think of Fernando Alonso? Do you think he is one of the smartest drivers to ever enter and currently race in this sport? Or you aren't on the hype train? Let us know in the comments below!